Mr. Kohler, thank you so much for taking the time. What inspired you to build this gorgeous property? Oh, heavens. Uh, we ran out of tea times. We built uh, Black Wolf Run. We had a three month lead time for a tea time. Well, that's sort of ridiculous for a five star hotel. We had to find some ground where we could build some more golf. I had to go out and find a farm nearby and buy it and then trade that for this. And, and we got it done, two miles on Lake Michigan. This land was uh, pretty damaged when we found it initially. Uh, it had 43 waste dumps, two of which were toxic. And it also had, uh, right at the heart of the operation, was a transaction point for the drug lords between uh, Green Bay and Chicago. They're pretty scary creatures. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. So the combination of waste dumps and <laughs> drug lords <laughs> and then ground that was uh, perfectly flat. Pete and I took a good hard look at it. And I said to him, Pete, uh, let's build Belly Bunyan. And by gosh, if he didn't go a long way in doing that. When you built this course, did you ever envision hosting an event of this magnitude? Well, when we got into golf, we decided that we were only going to uh, build for majors. And that's the way Pete and I started out. And it, it was sort of a, a ridiculous aspiration, but, but that was our intent. When you think about the land that you purchased originally, and then you built this creation, and you see one of the biggest builds in championship history happening around you with the setup for the Ryder Cup, what comes to mind? It's pretty awesome, even for me, after seeing a fair number of Ryder Cups, especially when you're, uh, you follow uh, Paris, and what's following us is Rome, and then uh, New York. So here's Kohler, Wisconsin. <laughs> hosting a Ryder Cup. But by God, it's, uh, it's our challenge and our interest to generate as much interest, both in person and television, around the world as these other sites will do. Captain Steve Stricker said that you and your family put Wisconsin golf on the map. How much pride do you take in that? Well, it's exciting. The people of Wisconsin are uh, a great sporting crowd. Just continues to stamp the state as a leader in the world of golf. Since we've built, uh, there have been a number of others who put some first class courses uh, in place in this state. And I think this re-emphasizes what a great uh, state for sport this is. So we're sitting out, it's a beautiful night right now, and I see the wind blowing pretty nicely right now. Yeah. The logo here at Whistling Straits is your face blowing wind over the course. What type of conditions are you hoping to see for the Ryder Cup? I hope it blows as much as it is today, if not more. <laughs> <laughs> we want the boys challenged. But this course, even without wind, is, is challenging. There can be birdies, but there can be uh, some pain in the process. What's your favorite part about this golf course? My favorite part? There's over a thousand bunkers out here. Now, mind you, just probably a hundred are actually in play. Pete built all those bunkers to create a little apprehension. And I think we'll get that, even from the, the best players in the world, in Europe and the United States. What does the Ryder Cup mean to you? It's the granddaddy of golf tournaments. You really don't get any bigger than or better than the Ryder Cup. It's the best. Mr. Kohler, thank you so much for the time. Looking forward to this Ryder Cup. Right. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it as much as I do.